Hello my dear Goinkins. Today we will understand addition and subtraction of like and unlike fractions. Let us first of all understand adding or subtracting like fractions. Sum of two or more like fractions is obtained in two steps. First, we add the numerators. Second, retain the common denominator. And finally, write the fraction including both the results. For example, we are having 3 by 7 and 1 by 7. They are like fractions. So first, we will add the numerators. That is 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4. And then we will retain the common denominator that is 7. And finally the sum of 3 by 7 and 1 by 7 is 4 by 7. To get the difference of two like fractions, first we subtract the smaller numerator from the bigger numerator. Second, we retain the common denominator. Then we write the fraction including both the results. Like here we are having an example 7 by 12 and 5 by 12. So first of all we are going to subtract the smaller number that is 5 from the larger number that is 7. So 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 and we are going to retain the common denominator that is 12. Since 2 by 12 is its difference but it's not in the simpler form. So we are going to reduce this fraction in the simpler form and the fraction in the simpler form is 1 by 6. So we have now learned how to add and subtract like fractions. It's also not very difficult to add unlike fractions that do not have same denominators. When we have to add or subtract these fractions, we first find equivalent fractions with the same denominators and then proceed. For example, 3 by 7 and 1 by 4 are two unlike fractions. In order to add them, first we find the equivalent fractions with same denominator. That is, we find the LCM of denominators and convert the fraction to equivalent fraction having LCM as the denominator. You can see 3 by 7 and 1 by 4 are unlike fractions. So first of all, we are going to find the LCM of 7 and 4, which is equal to 28. Now, we will convert the given fractions that is 3 by 7 and 1 by 4 into an equivalent fraction such that both of them are having 28 as a denominator. Now you can see by multiplying 3 and 7 uh, by 4 in both denominators, denominator and numerator, we will get 12 by 28 and in 1 by 4 we will get 7 by 28 as an answer. So now we will add 12 by 28 and 7 by 28 in the same way as we are adding like fractions and in this way we will get the final result. We have to continue the same for the subtraction of fractions. So students, this is all for today. Thank you so much.